What is up guys and girls? So I'm super stoked to be bringing you this guide on the Ethan Must Die run and in this one we're going to be going into detail on the strategies with monsters, locations and also item management. Now there's a ton of stuff to go through. The first you go through this door, head for the right of that pillar. Now there are chests here. Uh, this one I decided to go for it. Normally I would leave it. It greatly increases your chances of getting hit. There's also a chest by the door behind you but I'll show you that later. So at the start, we're just going to bail. We're going to run right through it. You don't need to be very quick with that door, but you can be. And the crates. Oh, the crates. The last thing you want to do is blow up at the end because you didn't listen to a crate properly. Every single crate, I wait until it's dead silent and to see if there's a ticker inside. And this is how you have to play it. You have to take each play through very seriously. I mean, you can't just wing it, wing it, wing it. You have to know what's coming next and stuff like that. Okay, so handgun ammo and the shotgun, which is a pretty good pickup. Now there is also a crate just to the left over there. I'm also going to show you where all the crate uh, spawn points are, which is always useful. Now comes the first tricky part, or second tricky part. You want to get down these stairs as soon as you can, so walk straight down them. And try and get a hit in even before you get to the actual cocoon. Now if you pick up the survival knife here, this will take 4 hits, this takes 12. Go in, close the door. Now the traps, you need to run over these traps quite straight, leave that trap. And this will all become second nature. You'll master the first part, then you'll master the second part, and now I can get to Marguerite, no problem at all. But she just kept killing me, maybe I'd say 40, 40 attempts easily, which is why this was going to be my last one, and I was going to do a guide from the beginning to the start of that battle. This way, getting more people to her and fighting her, therefore also getting more strategies and then discussing them with people and formulating ideas. So this trap, you want to stick to the right because we are going to use it in a second. Have a little listen. And I strongly, strongly recommend playing this with headphones. Uh, you just There's no way you can tell from the speakers of a TV or surround sound even if there's a slight tick. Headphones are the way to go. So with this fella, get him to come towards you, and we're going to use this trap on him. As soon as he does that little dance move, it's time for you to go. This gives enough time for the door to stay open. So run to the end, and I'll stick to the right, because you want him to walk over it. Then, one hit wonder, he's down. Well, he'll stay down. Okay, another semi-tricky part. There will be a crate sometimes in the corner of that room. I like to open the door fully when I get there the first time, because sometimes it only opens half, but the second you see any meat popping out from this corner, there we go, because he will walk and vomit at the same time, so be careful, and he's fucking quick, you don't think he is. Now stay right here, he needs to come closer to you, so take that hit if you have to, there, he walks to his left, then you can run through. Now this is just repetition, repetition, it's a uh, the more you do it, the better you get at it, and the further you get in the game, the better you get at those parts, and that's how you eventually progress to the end. See, I like to wait for the door to stop closing there, so I can hear it lacquer. We'll get to this door in a second. Now, sometimes there's a crate directly in front of you. Oh, there was this time. Funny thing about the walking shoes, which you might get a couple of times, I'll explain in a second, but stick to the right, let this guy know you're here. Now sometimes he'll spawn on the other side of the second tripwire, then just keep heading backwards until he's pegged. Yeah, the walking shoes, um, they obviously do not increase your run speed, but they definitely increase your crouch speed, so when you're walking underneath those tripwires, it's oomba fast. Okay, so we're going to shoot the mine, or tripwire head back and see what is in our crates. Now there's no guarantee there's going to be spawns on these crates. Obviously I've gotten to the final boss with eight fucking strong uh, chem fluids and one shotgun shell. So in that situation what I would do is go into the battle but don't actually try and fight her. Walk around, check where the trip mines are, see where the ammo might be and just familiarize yourself with the actual the layout of her lair. Okay so we've got some shotgun shells. So we're looking good for ammo right now, and shotgun shells are absolutely vital. Not for the end game, if you have some left over, awesome, but 
some enemies you just need to kill instantly and the shotgun is the best way to do that. So I've got two handguns now. Now what I want to do is use the ammo in the one gun without reloading it and then uh, throw it away. Now with the other handgun, if you have enhanced ammo and normal ammo, load up the enhanced ammo, then go back to your normal ammo, then both ammos will be within that gun, taking it away from your inventory. And I'll show that in a little while. As you can see there, things went terribly wrong, the previous run through. What you want to do is come around, activate it, and get this one guy to walk over here. Now because I've got this, oh no, I've got the good shotgun. If I had the crap shotgun, it would be different. One shot him, and then one shot with this guy with a pistol, will sort him out. Now you see, if that box was clicking, I'd be fucked. Just lucky it wasn't. The thing is, you can't get to this box to listen to it before they spawn, so it's a good idea to... Well, there's no, nothing you can do, really. you just got to hope it isn't an explosive box or shoot it as you walk into the room. It's probably the best thing to do. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at our items. So we've got the shotgun there, M21. And on my left on the barrel, there'll be a, a crate, if you're lucky. Okay, this door, run through, 180 turn, and then strafe right and spam X. Now that, I haven't fucked that up yet, but that again just becomes second nature. I mean, you don't even think you're doing it. So don't stress if you die, well, when you die, because you learn every time you die, and that's how the game's meant to be played. So in here, there could be two crates. There is not. Herb, nothing. I could use a herb because I blocked that attack, but not this time. Okay, turn around, activate the trap. I love how it actually locks into place like it, it's not meant to fall. Anyway, we're going to head into the master bedroom, and within here, there's a whole lot of boom waiting for you. So what we're going to do is activate the trap and then descend down the hole again. Then we are good to go. Majority of the time there'll be a lack of purple crate in here, but the couple of runs I was doing this morning, nothing. Okay, so now I need to use those, so what can I do? I can load up the ammo, and then go, there we go, so I've got I can throw that away and use that. Oh, wait a minute. Holy shit. I had a fucking chem there. Oh man, I threw away the fucking gun when I could have taken away the chem. But it matters not. I still take her out. Although she's taken me out many more times than I've taken her out. I love how Jack's been killed by a turret. And I've blown his head off many times. Running down here, make sure you duck, because there is a weapon there. So he should be toast. Okay, now sometimes there's a crate right outside this door, and it's in a ship position. So what I like to do is come over here, shoot it, and then carry on. Because if it's an explosive one, you'll die as soon as, soon as these turrets start shooting. Okay, so shoot both of these, the tripwire and the box because the other turret in the distance can shoot that box and kill you. Then, the other tripwire. Now we're going to have a look in the storage room. Be sure to duck just before you come out into this door, because sometimes the gun can get a shot off. Okay, so we've got a better knife, which is awesome. I'd say it's more awesome in the beginning of the game with those weird cocoons, but... Coming down to it, you might find yourself a couple of times fighting Marguerite with a knife. Okay, grenade launcher. Now, the later you get these grenade launchers, the better. I'll explain in a second. So run out, run in. Now duck before you get outside, because it's more difficult to turn around, duck, and close the door than it is just to turn around and close the door. But again, this will become second nature. So now you can wait for them to destroy those molds, or molded, agent molders. But if you're impatient and want to open the door, open it completely and then don't even look for him, just walk down, because he can come through this door so quickly and he'll come attacking. I've died a couple of times in the beginning with that. Okay, so that's this area done. We're going to head to the left and see if there's a crate. There is. But it's a ticker. 
So there could be a crate on your left here as well. In the bottom there could be two, one there and then one to the right in front of the toilet. Then we're going to get to a more difficult section which has killed me a couple more times than any time prior to this point. So what we need is a definite shotgun and a pistol, preferably one that you might throw away, but if not, all good. Okay, so this guy, he can be very troublesome. Don't try and aim for his head. Let your get your shotgun completely dead still, in line with his head, and then let him move into it instead of you trying to move to it, if that makes sense. So there we go. We have him down with one extra shot of the uh, handgun there. So now before we descend down these stairs, we want to check out these trip wires. There's two here. The one we're going to use in a second, but the further one we need to destroy. And you do that by coming over here and destroying that. Now sometimes the mold that is walking here will destroy that. So I've spent more time looking for that fucking red light and it wasn't there to begin with. Okay, so heading towards the garage. Now, <clears> there's <throat> all about item management. So to the right, you've got to go collect a key. So you need a spot for that. But where can you use the ammo instead of throwing away ammo? So I can use one shotgun shell and I can't see really, I think it's eight handgun bullets. So what I want to do is see what else we have in these crates. Perfect. So now here you want to check the room to see if there is something, because a lot of the time there won't be anything. But there's a nice nifty little trick, which I haven't seen in any other videos, to take this guy out, because he was also very troublesome. He's very uh, sneaky and he's agile. So do your 180, wait for him, wait for him to get underneath the lamp, a lot of the time he'll walk straight towards you and he just dies instantly. Sometimes he'll just get wounded, but either way, it puts you at an advantage. So I have one enhanced ammo there. Now I can use one shot to take out one of these uh, trip wires, and then I'll have an extra slot on my inventory. Now you can use these in a second, but I do use the one. And there's one on the right over here you can also use if you need to. Okay, so now I've got a slot for the key. But I think I might go to the other room first. Yeah, the key's down there. So for this one, open the door wide. Then trigger the traps. Now before you go back in, make sure you open the door completely. Because if you're pushing against it, you peg. Okay, what have we got? Strong chem, which I'm probably going to have to destroy because I can't make anything. Okay, now we're going to head for the key and another tricky little uh, situation. Now I like to help the turret here with the machine gun if you have it, or the flamethrower, but make sure you keep four shots of the pistol, whatever you do. There's a crate over here sometimes, and if it's ticking, stand back and destroy it because it will kill you if you leave it ticking. So grab the key, we're going to head to the door and trigger this whole enclosure. What you want to do for starters is snuggle up nice and close to your new turret buddy. So I've got a, a bit of ammo here, so I'm going to help a little bit because they can get to you a lot of the time. Another big fella. Be careful not to stray too much to the right because the turret will attack you. Die, you bastard. There he is. Now remember to stay away from him. Keep your distance because he will hurt you when he explodes. Alright, so that's in the belt. What do we have next? We have the, the very difficult part coming up. Okay, I've got one gap there. So what did I have lying around? Always be sure to check. And always know what enemy is coming next and what you're going to do before you actually engage them. Okay, so I grabbed that, which was the flame rounds. Very useful. What I was saying about the grenade launcher earlier is getting that gun or the mag gun early game is not good because you need to be able to mix things and create uh, fluids and stuff like that. So getting a large gun in the beginning is not always positive. Okay, so walking down here. We're going to get these two guys to come towards us. 
and wait until they're kind of centered. Toodles, motherfuckers. All right, now those were the easy guys. Now, this is brutal because your first shot is so vital. Now watch where my shotgun is aimed as it comes around the corner. It's where the liquor comes out and his head is at. So there, you get the first guy down, and if you're lucky, you get the second one. Because if you don't kill them and they get to you, there's, <laughs> I don't know what percentage it is, but it's fucking high. They will kill you. Then again, if you have the M90 or P19, the machine gun, you can stagger them. There's also a crate in the distance there sometimes. Okay, so we want to open both doors. Do a little sneaky. And head to the pillar, turn around, head back. And now we wait. Sometimes both doors will close, just wait. Okay, there you can see both of them died. Now there's no other threats in here. If you stay underneath the overpass above you, the big guy can't get you. There's a crate over there sometimes, and a crate over here. And you can get them quite easily at this point. Alright, now there's a part here coming up which had me stumped for quite a while. Now I knew I had to shoot the the mines and everything, but it just wasn't working out. I couldn't get him to move from the gate. Then I realized that you have to shoot them all, run straight up here, pop, pop, pop. So you need three pistol shots, sorry, not four. Now you can shoot him once or twice if you want, but the aim is to wait for this guy to blow up. Come on, there we go. See, that was perfectly done there. Those other guys are still following you, so do not hang around. We're gonna head upstairs and take on this raging bitch. Let's see what we have in here. One crate, not ideal. Uh, even less ideal. Fucking x-ray glasses. But you see now, if I had shit ammo and I wanted to do a little walk around, that would be perfect. Then I could go around and familiarize myself with her hideout. Which is not, not always a bad thing, so... Let's see what we're doing here. So three shots in the pistol, I'm going to take that away. Put the shotgun in the main one. And then the flamethrower there. And just be sure you know which gun is where, because you have to be very quick. And I still find myself fucking around in my inventory, because I don't know where the fuck things are. But there is a crate over there, or, a, wow, a chest. I've never seen a chest there in all my playthroughs. And I think it's the Magnum. There's a tripwire there. See, now that's, like, the most perfect thing that could have happened. It's probably the reason why I killed her in the end, because now I can run around and use my ammo, and then still grab that whenever I need to. So there's a tripwire up there, which is why I like to start the battle downstairs and get her to run into both of those tripwires. Now there's no guarantee it's going to happen, but even if she's standing close to them, you can shoot them as well for actually quite a large amount of damage. Okay, so for starters, we're going to pot her with the flame round. And a wasted shotgun shell there, so don't do that. Okay, so the first part I like to hang around in this room. Now, this is where the headphones come in even more, because you can tell exactly where she is above you, next to you, left, right, and so on. It is vital to hear where she is, because she has very, very um, distinct telltale signs that, you know, like the bubbling and the talking, and even the footsteps, you can tell exactly where she is. So I'm in no rush here. There she is. Now she's going to drop down. Now always try and have something between you and her. Don't give her a direct line of sight to you because she will launch at you and it's all fucking over. As you can see I'm being very cautious here. And see there I shot it there because I knew the trip mine was there and that really hurt her. So now I wanted to run out and flame her but you're vulnerable. You need to have something you can go behind to stop her launch attack because one attack and you're dead so the whole focus is not to give her line of sight and this is when she's crawling but if she's kind of on hind legs can I say then she won't jump she needs to be on the roof or on the floor on all fours then she can jump because sometimes she'll walk towards you standing up showing off her waffle fuck that thing is disgusting Okay, anyway, again, in no rush, I, I decide to venture out here and grab the Magnum, and she was standing right behind me, in that hole. 
I don't think I saw her there, but I do now. Now there's some confusion between shooter in the head or shooter in the uh, infection. So I did both this time. Some videos shoot downstairs, others shoot upstairs. So I think maybe give her a mixture. But doing it again now, and how many times I've failed, I'd probably shoot her in the head more than the, the body. See, there she is. Now she's on the all fours. Dangerous. Run the fuck away. And then she's going to go to a hideout. There she goes. Okay, now at this point, I'm kind of 50-50 eh, considering the ammo I have and stuff like that. So eventually you're going to have to venture out into the area and actually look for ammo. Otherwise, you're going to go up against her with a knife, which is obviously not the best thing. But I have killed her in the real game, obviously, with a knife. And I've seen videos as well of people killing her. Okay, so now she's getting ready to jump. Now she's on the roof. So again, I'm not taking any chances. I want to wait for her, get my shot off, then run. And this is difficult to do a proper guide on this because, I mean, there's a very good chance you're not going to be holding the flamethrower now. You could be holding something else. It's very different. The idea is to, is to learn her nature. What does she do? Where does she come from? Where the holes are that she comes out of? It's like, yeah, I should have shot that mine. I think I do now, but... See, there she actually launched at me. And in my previous run through, she got me through the door. Came over. So I stayed more to the left of that door. Okay, so now I'm going to go and have a look for some ammo. Now, if you run left, you're going to run into a turret. There's a tripwire to the right, and there's a tripwire here. But the turret is now your friend, so you want to hang around. There she comes perfectly. See, being on the roof. No, not on the roof. The turret will absolutely destroy her if you can get her to walk in front of it, which shouldn't be too difficult. She'll come from all sides. But again, you'll know where she is with the sound and the sound only. It's the reason why I'm not looking in the other direction now. Okay, so here she is. Come on, turret. See there, I couldn't tell because of the flame if she was going to jump or not, so I decided to be safe and sorry. Now she's on the roof. Get out of there. So there's also a crate spawn down here, but not for me. So I unlock this door, but don't go through it yet because you're not sure if that tripwire is done. Now there is a turret there. Now I like to stick around in this room because I think I'm going to have a look for crates first, but there's a tripwire right there on the left and there's a tripwire on the right. So there's a good chance that she's going to come from one of these directions and get owned by the tripwire. Fuck, that was close. See, now this tree offers you no protection, as I found out before. Do not use it to stand behind. Okay, now the turret's got her right here. Where are you? So now I'm going to wait for her to come a bit closer, and yes, please. Ladies and gentlemen, she is dead. Now I had no problem with a couple of extra shots in there. But I do actually walk forward and activate the turret, which actually scared the shit out of me. But anyway, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to ask. I'm always going to answer your questions. And check out my other speedrun guide with the original game. So please remember to like if you like and subscribe if you really liked. And I'll see you next time.